Hello everybody and welcome back. And in the previous video I showed you how you can install the tool correctly with all of the programs it needs and right now we are good to go and we should be ready to run our first ARP spoofing attack on this tool. Now if we type here let me just clear the screen and type once again MITMF so you can either run it with this so dot and then slash and then the name of the program or you can run it with Python and then MITMF minus dash dash help. So it will run the same output which is our available options for this program. So let us see what we should use in order to run the simple ARP spoofing attack. So if we scroll up uh, we can see first thing that catches our eye is this spoof right here. So redirect modify traffic using ICMP, ARP, DHCP or DNS. Now for the first attack we want to use the ARP spoofer. So what we would need to specify is two commands right here. One of them each is the spoof which is basically just loading the plugin spoof and the next one is the minus minus ARP which redirects traffic using ARP spoofing. Now we already taught what ARP spoofing is so you should already be familiar with what kind of attack we are running right here. Now there are a few other things that we also need to specify in, uh, besides these two as you remember in the previous videos where we ran with three commands the ARP spoofing we had to specify the targets. Now Right here we can run uh, the ARP spoofing attack on all the targets that are on our local network. We do not need to specify the target uh, even though we can. For example if you only wanted to target one simple one PC you could do that with minus minus target command I believe. But if you do not specify any target and you only specify the gateway you will be ARP spoofing everyone on the local area network. So let's see how that works. Uh, basically, as I said, we want to specify the spoof plugin, the ARP plugin, and also, let me just scroll up, I believe it's somewhere here, as we can see there are a bunch of options right here. Also, what you need to specify is the minus I for the interface, so we need to specify the interface that we are listening on, and minus minus gateway for the our router IP address. Let me see if it is really minus minus gateway. Here it is. So specify the gateway IP. Now we need those four options to run a simple ARP spoofing attack. So let's clear the screen and type ifconfig. We can see that my interface is ETH0. Now as I said before you can use any interface you want. If you have connected your wireless adapter you can use that interface as well. I'll be using this interface since that is the interface that I'm connected on the network. So let us start off with minus slash uh, with dot slash and then mitmf min, uh, dot pi. Uh, the first thing we want to specify would basically be the interface that we are running on. So let's type here minus i and then eth0 which is our interface. So after that let's load the plugin spoof for spoofing attacks and let's set that to spoof with the ARP protocol. Uh, the last thing as I said that we need to specify is the gateway with the minus minus gateway command and after that we specify the router's IP address. Now if you do not know your router's IP address you can simply just open up another terminal and type here netstat minus nr. It will give you the gateway IP address which is this one for me. You can also you, uh, check the router's IP address with, with ifconfig and it will also give you, let me just find where it should give you the gateway. Well, never mind, it doesn't seem to give the gateway, but you can use netstat minus nr and it will for sure give you the gateway IP address. So once we, you find out your gateway IP address, just type 192.168.1.1 and we will be ready to run the attack. So let me just show you once again with the command prompt and arp minus a command. We can see that currently before we ran the attack we can see that ARP minus A gives a legit uh, MAC address for our router IP. As we can see 192.168.1.1 has this MAC address and this right here is my laptop and let me just find okay it doesn't seem to have the the Cal Linux machines MAC address right here but soon enough it will have it right here. So we will be having this MAC address as you can see right here from the ifconfig output on our Kali Linux machine instead of this MAC address right here on the router's IP address. So let's run the attack. Just press here enter 
it will load up this banner that they have, it will load up all the plugins they have, as we can see, spoof, ARP spoofing enabled, uh, we can have some, we, these are just some of the options that you can specify, and right now this spoofing is enabled, and we are ARP spoofing the entire network. As we can see, if I type ARP minus A once again, the uh, MAC address of the router is the same now as the MAC address of our Kali Linux machine, as we can see right here. So these two are same, which means we are we successfully spoofed the Windows machine. Now let's see how what now we can do once we spoofed the machine. So I am right here on my uh, Google Chrome on Windows 10, and if I go to a simple website, so we can see that in the up of our spoofing machine. Uh, we can actually see that the uh, we can actually see who is visiting which website. As we can see, 192.168.1.6 on Chrome OS Windows is visiting this website right here. Now, um, be aware that this will not show for every website. For example, if I visit Twitter, let me just show you, and I go right here it will not show us that the target has visited twitter.com since twitter is on https over tls now that is basically uh, not yet vulnerable to the man in the middle attack or to the decryption attack so we won't be able to see which website is the target visiting this will only work on http websites and on https websites running over ssl while performing the ssl strip which i will show in the next videos now, for example, uh, if you have a page over HTTP and that page has a login, uh, for example, form with username and password and anyone now on the local network types the login username and password there, it will be visible in the output of our ARP spoofing attack. So we will be having username and password printed out right here. But if someone, for example, goes to the to the uh, HTTPS website, as we can see right here, and goes to a simple uh, simple login form. As we can see, it is HTTPS, and our target right here cannot really, uh, or our program right here cannot really see that website since it is over HTTPS. And someone types logs in over HTTPS, it will not print out anything in our output right here since it cannot perform SSL strip since we didn't specify it yet. Now, in the next videos I will show you how we can actually gather the username and password from this website as well, even though it is over HTTPS, uh, performing the SSL strip. So, that would be it about this tutorial. This was just a simple, a simple ARP spoofing attack. So this simple attack will only work, as I said, on HTTP websites for now on, since we didn't really use the SSL strip uh, option. So this is the most simple version of it, uh, of the attack that we can do. And I will show you some of the more advanced versions in the next videos. Hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I see you in the next one. Bye.